Hey YouTube, this is Thonga again, and I'm gonna be bringing you another Rome Total War Online commentary video where I will be playing as Carthage, big surprise, uh, in a 2v2 game against the Hell Clan again. Now you may think I have something against the Hell Clan and the Peacekeepers and Hell Clan, uh, we don't exactly get along that much, I have, but I have nothing against the Hell Clan, they're like a uh, decent bunch of guys. Uh, and I have, it's nothing personal, it's just a fun game and I only really play this game for fun, not for clan politics or anything like that. Alright, my ally is Viper, uh, he's a great player and a good friend in the Peacekeeper clan as well. He's playing as Pontus. Now, my army consists of 5 units of Sacred Band Hoplites, 1 unit of Peasants, 6 Gold Gold Slingers, 2 Gold Gold Baleric Slingers, 3 units of Sacred Band Heavy Cav and Tunis of Numidian Jav Cav. And Viper, I'm not gonna tell you his army, but I'll just give you a brief glance. So, uh, we're gonna switch our opponents here because Pont uh, Viper's gonna use Pontus to go up against Romans. He brought his anti Roman army, and I've brought my anti Seleucid army. So, our opponents, uh, Nocturnal is of the Hell Clan, is playing at Seleucid, and or Onage is playing the Brutii Romans. Now, uh, Nocturnal has brought a really heavy army, he has 6 units of archers, 4 units of pikemen, but his real killing arm is in his 5 units of gold, gold, cataphracts. He has no light cav at all, and this is, uh, I'm gonna show you in this game how an absence of light cav can really be detrimental to your army. Yeah, a lot of people just seem to think, oh, I'll just break, spam urbans, and I'll spam Praetorian and cav, and all my super heavy cav, and overpowered opponent, but this game is gonna show you how I'm gonna use light cav and inferior cav to overwhelm uh, Nocturnos, super heavy cataphracts. Uh, now anyway, the, this Roman army is the, sort of the same. Five units of urbans, five units of the Tauran Cav, six units of archers and two archaxilla. This is a very standard Roman army you see in online matches. It's very heavy and not much finesse is involved in it. It's mainly just Rome relying on his boot strength to punch the hole through the enemy army. So in this game, uh, our opponents have brought much heavier, much more brute force orientated armies so uh, me and viper hopefully will be able to demonstrate how to beat heavy armies like this using finesse so we have uh, uh missile superiority here i have eight units of missiles and viper has eight units compared to our opponents so my slingers are going to start wrecking uh the seleucid arch uh actually managed to get my numidian jav calf to strike at uh nocturnal's uh, archers who were uh, outside the protection of his pike line. So my Numidian Javka start hacking down his archers and um, his cataphracts. By the time they start to respond, my Javka like very quickly slip away and his guys are like miles away and by the time my guys are already moving off. So there's this huge rampaging horde of cataphracts chasing after my Numidian Javka, which suits me just fine because cataphracts get tired really fast and I need any, every advantage I can seize against these five guys because uh, fat and sl they're fat, slow and heavy, but they're also really, really dangerous in a straight up fight. A lot of players make the mistake of just isolate, sending their chariot archers forward and isolating them, and just allowing eight units of mis eight to six units of missiles to concentrate their fire and two units of chariot archers. But Viper has moved his archers up within range, so his guys are actually uh, torn between opening fire on his chariots and opening fire on his archers. So they're getting massacred, and their our formation really clustered and just getting shot to pieces right here. And this unit, Pitoran Cav. Uh, in the open and they're getting shot in the backs by the chariot archers. So the uh, cataphracts actually make a strike at some of my slingers uh, and I'm uh, gonna form a double line with my uh, silver shields to protect, to prevent any rear hammer and anvil strikes if Nocturno decides to rush his guys forward. I'm confident in the abilities of my sacred band hoplites to hold out against inferior silver shield. So I'm not really caring about Nocturno's missile units, I'm just targeting his cataphracts with my guys now and his cataphracts are tired and this is quite amusing in seeing how like fresh slingers can almost out outrun warmed up cataphracts and the race is on to see uh, who can catch who and the slingers are actually <laughs> winning so this unit of cataphracts has actually gotten really horribly exposed and i'm gonna send all my calf and gang up on this one unit while he's isolated and all alone and i'm rushing this unit of sacred band to uh try and block off the other uh, cataphracts when they try and come to the rescue. Alright, so there you know cataphracts stood no chance against my entire cav force and this unit of cataphracts is coming to the rescue as well. But I'm gonna like get out of there while I get my slings to target this unit of cataphracts. 
so he's using our cataphracts, they take some missile fire, and but it's quite ineffective. And he goes to my Numidian Jav Calf. And I this allows me to surround him with my sacred band. I lose a lot of my precious light calf, which uh, really sucked, but they bought uh precious time for my sacred band calf is slaughtered. I could try to make a rush for the our opponent's archers, but uh, I think he got caught by urbans. Anyway, anyway, uh, he tried this guy. Uh, Nocturno tried to rescue his cataphracts, but my sacred band went away. So my sacred band actually rush up and catch some of his cataphracts. Out. And his uh, Nocturno is his micro is a bit uh no nothing personal to him, but it's a bit sloppy in this game. So anyway, the main uh, infantry battle has begun. I'm keeping one unit of sacred band hoplites to screen my general and this other unit. My guys were sort of deployed in a thin line, so they're not actually doing fantastically considering there's secret band hoplites but they're putting up a good enough fight even though they're pretty badly outnumbered and i have no idea what my opponent's general is doing he's just like wandering through my lines so anyway um there's a major cav engagement over here where i lost a lot of my cav um and I, actually all my secret band uh cav died in this fray although i'm using a combination of light cav and my heavy infantry to uh so uh he tries to make a rush for my guys over here but i managed to turn my my guys run in time and his cataphracts are taking slinger fire all this while so they just get bogged down and my infantry are just overwhelming uh, my opponent's guys over here so uh nocturno is quite desperate here and he launches his guys into the main fray meanwhile uh, my opponent uh, my ally viper uh, he's clashing with the main woman line uh onich has focused his attack on viper's left although viper using his chariots has managed to completely wreck the Roman Cav Force, you can see all the dead Praetorian Cav there, and there's hardly any dead chariots around. So anyway, the, the Roman Force, uh, they're getting decimated by Cav, by chariots running riot throughout the ranks as well, and I've uh, sent the rest of the Seleucid infantry packing. I've lost pretty much all my Cav, but my sling, but uh, my slingers are still pretty intact, so I'm not too worried about that. Anyway, the chariots run amok, but they do a pretty good job of reminding uh, of reminding themselves where the loyalties lie so they continue rampaging around and killing a good number of romans uh they do run into my men a bit but they don't cause too much damage but here viper has formed a pretty uh neat like v shape with his pikes and he's just like cutting these urbans apart using his men uh and these urbans caught in the center they don't stand a chance at all and i'm rushing in my slingers and trying to overwhelm uh my opponent here and uh nocturno has finally uh, Nocturnal has finally remembered where his general is and he's uh, cutting a path through my slingers uh, But killing slingers is one thing, killing sacred band hoplites is another thing So uh, He tries to make a rush with his uh, decent sized unit of cataphracts Although my uh, sacred band, uh, e even this unit of 7 men managed to turn around and, But they're helped out by vipers guys And my general actually killed uh, My general unit killed uh, Nocturnal's general and the chariot archers are coming in and mopping up what's left of uh, the heavy infantry units of our opponents. Now Viper, his two units of Pontic Light Cav uh, came back and they're running riot and slaughtering all these archers. And the chariots have uh, come in as well and they're going to start running over these archers. These archers don't stand a chance against combined uh, chariot and light cav force. So Viper's uh, chariot archers are, are still like almost completely unscathed, although the Scythe Chariots come on a, another rampage and Viper manages to get his guys out, out of that time. And our opponents, uh, they said good game but they terminated the game as well so I can't show you the result screen which is a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a poor etiquette just to quit the game like that, especially when they hosted the game. But anyway, uh, good game to our opponents from hell. Uh, I'm gonna thank my Viper, for uh, my ally Viper for being a good ally. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Fung out.